Alright guys, now I'm finally going to show you guys how to test for voltage on your circuit. So, we have our circuit right here and the power is flowing to it. This uh, little light is on, I don't know if you can tell it or not. But this circuit is going to stay on the whole time while we're testing. So, now plug your leads in to uh, COM and voltage, respectively. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is turn your multimeter on DC voltage. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to uh, see this reading, so I'm going to show you guys, or I'm going to tell you guys what it says sometimes if you can't see it. The next thing you want to do is take your black lead from your multimeter right here and touch it to the black uh, end of their terminal from your battery. This is going to stay here the whole time. The only part you move around is this red one. So go ahead and touch the red one to... You can touch it, and let's go ahead and test the battery first. Touch it to the positive part on your battery. And if you can't see, we're getting a reading now of 8.35 volts. And this is typical. This is pretty much the battery's voltage. Uh, so we use a little bit of power on our 9-volt battery, but it's still good. Next, go ahead and move it right before the resistor. And as you can see, we still get a reading of 8.33. And this is good because this is just a pipeline, and it shouldn't use any current yet. But let's see what happens if we move it right after the resistor. If we move it right after the resistor, then we get a reading of 2.815 volts. And this is because the resistor is doing its job. It's limiting the amount of electric current that flows through. And since it's resisting the electric current, the voltage drops significantly. So that's why that drops. And as you can see, it should be the same right before the LED light. And let's see what we get. 2.813, so that's good. But let's see what we get right after the LED light in our circuit. We get right around 0 volts. Amazing how that works. So let me show you guys, or actually explain to you guys why this is. As electric current goes through... The first thing it does is pass through this resistor. This resistor limits the amount of electric current that's flowing. And then after it passes through the LED, the LED is going to use up the rest of your current. And that's why all the voltage after your LED is going to be zero. So again, the resistor limited the voltage. And then once it hit the LED, it used all the rest of the electricity and that's why after your LED you should have somewhere close to zero on your voltage so again to refresh one more time anytime you want to test your voltage take your multimeter keep your black probe on the black end of the battery and the only thing you do is move your red, red probe around to wherever you want to test for voltage and like I showed you guys or explained to you guys this is useful in determining how much voltage is going to each part so you don't blow parts like we did earlier. So that is that for this tutorial. Make sure to check out my next tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.